Hello everybody, Shrouded Hand here. I'm packing right now for a trip to Delamere Forest. It's a place that I nearly included in my terrifying forests video. It's a large ancient English forest and there's many stories attached to it. It's got a really long and bloody history. There's been quite a few big battles around the forest and within the forest itself, going back as far as the Anglo-Saxon era. For many years it was also prowled by various highwaymen and they would rob and murder people as they passed through the forest. When it's got a dark history like that there's always going to be ghost stories but there's a quite a few that reoccur over the years. There's one about a, a white lady that is seen walking one of the trails and she when spotted will float up into the trees and disappear. There's also a ghostly horse drawn carriage which has been seen by many people. There's also been sightings of UFOs and strange lights which are seen to hover among the trees. There's been an encounter with a large black dog that sounds like Black Shuck. There's also been sightings of strange hooded figures coming out of the trees in the middle of the night. This has led to rumours that there's some kind of satanic cult operating in the forest. There's also been recorded quite a lot of suicides in the forest. There are also lakes which are quite dangerous to swim in and a number of people have drowned there. In the 70s there was a triple murder. Three campers were shot to death. A guy called Michael Bassett was driving through the forest a drunk. He'd stolen a rifle from a fairground in North Wales and he was driving through and spotted these campers. Got out of his car and shot them dead lying there in their tents. But I wanted to set the scene for this interesting camping experience. I don't really expect to capture anything on camera. It'd be a nice bonus if I do. I'm going to take the trail cam and the night vision camera. But mostly this is a video just about facing my fears, going out into the wild, the unknown, and just experiencing the forest alone in the middle of the night and just seeing what it's all about. Because I've never done anything like this before. It is something that actually scares me quite a lot, the idea of it. So it'd be interesting to see if I manage to face my fears. So anyway, I'm going to continue packing and we'll see what happens. Right, hello everyone. Shrouded hand here. And I'm here in Delamere Forest. I'm not very far away from the road at the minute. I'm going to try and find somewhere to camp for the night. This is my first time ever doing anything like this. And I'll be honest, I'm kind of crapping my pants. I think maybe over that, over there somewhere. The thing is, I uh, plan to get here a lot earlier than this. It's gonna get dark in about half an hour. So um, the traffic on the way down was so terrible that we ended up about two hours late. This is completely new to me. And the idea of having to set up a, a tent in the middle of the night, in the dark. I feel horribly unprepared. I'm kind of out of breath, but I think that's just an anxiety. In the past, I've had really bad anxiety. And I was on medication for it for a long time, and I've, I've stopped taking it about a month or two ago. So this is kind of a test of my anxiety levels without medication, doing something completely out of my comfort zone. I gotta say my heart was beating fast coming down here. So we'll see, it's like a swamp, this place. And this trail seems quite, quite nice, but I wanna kinda pick up the pace, try and find somewhere to camp. I don't wanna be too close to the road. The light is failing fast and that's my biggest worry. What I really would have wanted to do was get here really early and scout out the place completely. But at the moment, it's just a case of find somewhere quick and get the cam, get the tent up. Okay, so this looks like a good place to diverge from the track. I think, I can't really tell where I am, even looking at Google Maps. Just trying to find a way through all this. seen into this green hell. Look at all this I've just walked through. I thought I was finding somewhere off the beaten track and there's a bloody path all the way through. God damn it. Let's try up here a little bit. Okay I think I'm gonna have to just set up camp wherever. I'm not too 
Like I am quite far from the path. I'm in some kind of weird clearing area. So it's nice and clear. I don't know how close I am to any paths. I keep thinking I'm going into the middle of nowhere and then all of a sudden I'll see a path. Oh shit, fucking panicking. Okay. All right, you guys, I've got the tent set up. I did not bring, bring any bug spray. I'm probably going to catch malaria, so that's good. Okay, the panic has slightly subsided. I think giving myself something to do has uh, kind of helped a little bit. <laughs> you know, I just got into a mode like, right, I've got to get this tent up. Okay, so it is a bit dark now. Let me just... My tent's a bit lit up. But other than that, it's pitch black, so... We'll go into the night vision. And also over here I've got something set up. Which you'll probably see light up now because I'm moving in front of it. Got the trail cam set up here. Which hopefully if anything comes near the tent, we'll get a good picture of it. Just had an owl fly right over the top. And just land on a branch and just sort of sit there staring at me. I just heard a scream in the night. It probably was a fox. Yeah, I heard voices, but I mean, people walking through the forest, it's about 10 o'clock at night. I don't mind being out, when I'm outside, I can see around me, it's fine. But I don't like being in the tent. <laughs> I feel, I feel like I'm trapped in there, you know what I mean? I can't see around me. And I've got, I usually got my phone or my light on, so it's, I feel like I'm all lit up. Okay, so it's ten past midnight. Thought it'd be good to come out in the witching hour and see what was happening. That light over there is my trail cam going off because I'm walking around. I can't see a single thing apart from what's on the camera. I did hear a massive crack, like something big moving around. The thing is, the tent, I've got the light on in there, and it just makes me realise how lit up I am in the pitch black forest. If someone was stalking through the woods, They'd see me lit up like a Christmas tree. Geese are going crazy. What's that? For some reason I thought I saw a horned figure at the end of that. See through that gap there. But I don't think so. Pan. Pan come to get me. Oh, you can see it lit up now. See that green light? That's. If you imagine what I can actually say is complete pitch darkness and then that green thing just lit up. And I, I don't know, I just feel. I feel vulnerable. So if there's anyone present, if you want to make yourself known, if you could stand over there by that tree. See that, see that shimmering light there? I mean, it's shimmering here as well, but there's like a dark shape there. Hmm. Or if anyone wants to speak, if you can speak. into my phone or into the camera just here to record might get some ghosts, who knows was something just there? 
I thought I saw it, like I just glanced at the screen, I thought I saw something like so there was probably an animal or just my imagination. Swampy underfoot. I don't think I should be walking through this in the dark. Let's try and climb up here. Okay, the tent's over there now. I thought I'd lost it. I don't know what it is, it's just this sensation of being watched. I mean, I must be being watched by creatures, you know. So you can hear movement, but... Hello? Anyone there? I just heard a noise that sounded like someone was scratching themselves. Imagine if you like scratched your leg. It could have been some kind of insect or animal. It's just every noise. Okay, well, I'm going to come back out at 3 a.m. and have another look around. But this has been my midnight, my midnight vigil, I guess you could call it. something outside the tent. I can hear it. Why is that? Right, good morning everyone. It is about 6 a.m. I did mean to do a bit more recording at 3 a.m. but I fell asleep. Pack up the tent and then go for a walk. Alright. Alright guys, I'm on the way back out to the forest. It's just that there's, there has been rumours of the, a monster around here and uh, I thought I'd just catch, put the camera on in case I caught it. Woo! Oh my god, it's the Gruffalo. I told you there was a monster around here. So, it was a fairly uneventful night all in all, but a good learning experience. I learned that when you're alone in the forest at night, every sound seems to be amplified about 10 times, so every little rustle of leaves sounds like an imminent threat. It was exciting camping alone, but I think if you wanted to do a serious investigation, you'd have to have more than one person. If I strayed too far from the tents, there'd be no way for me to find my way back in the dark, so I think if you had one more person who could stay at the tent, and then if you got lost, you could call out to them or something like that. Looking over the trail cam footage, not a lot was captured, not even any wildlife. I was convinced at one point that there was something walking around the tent, I thought I could hear like heavy footsteps, so I was excited to check the trail cam because I thought for sure there'd be at least a deer or a fox or something captured, but there was nothing, I don't know what was making those footsteps. The only thing that was really captured was me getting in and out of the tent. One weird thing is that I did a midnight investigation and then what I wanted to do was get back inside the tent and then get back out at 3am and do another investigation at 3am because that's the time of night where all the weird things are supposed to happen. But I fell asleep and completely missed it. But then when I checked the trail cam recordings there is a video of me outside the tent shortly after 3am and I've got no recollection of this at all. To my knowledge, I don't sleepwalk. I haven't done it since I was a kid, so I don't know what's happening here. Like, I seem to be outside the tent looking at something, and I've got no memory of it at all. 
The trail cam only records 30 seconds of footage, so I assume I just walked around a bit and looked off in the distance and then got back in the tent. I don't know. I don't know what this is. It's strange, but that's pretty much the only thing. Okay, this is just a quick edit. Um, I missed this when I first looked through the trail cam footage. The way the camera works is if it spots any movement, it takes a photograph and then it records 30 seconds of video. I was looking through the videos and I assume this one had been set off by my shadow moving around in the tent, but this is the still photograph that it captured moments before. And I know this isn't me because I'm, I'm clearly in the tent. From my best guess, it's some kind of leaf or something falling past the camera. It must be really close to the camera and it's just making a weird blurry mess that kind of looks a bit weird. It almost looks like a face. This could be an eye or something, but the mind has a habit of making anything look like a face if it can't identify it. So it could be an animal, I suppose, but I don't really know what animal it could be. It must be too close to the camera to identify them. My best guess is it's something falling past the camera. It just looks a bit strange. I didn't spot it until I was halfway through editing the video, so I thought I should include it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. It helps my videos get recommended to other people, and I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers before the end of the year. I think I did learn a lot from this experience. It's a shame there wasn't more interesting footage captured, but hopefully the future adventures won't be so rushed and a bit more organised. If you've got any suggestions for other places that I could go and investigate, leave them in the comments and I'll see. For the most part, I'm limited to places that are quite near to me, unless it so happens that someone's travelling that way and I can tag a lift with them. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, goodbye.